In this video, we will try to understand how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam of span 4 meter length carries and it is carrying 2 point loads of 5 kN and 7 kN at 1.5 meter and 3.5 meter from the left hand support respectively. So first we will find out the reactions for this particular arrangement which is as shown over here. So RA and RB will have to find out. So the first step is we will apply the first condition of equilibrium that is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. Upward forces will consider them as positive whereas downward forces will consider them as negative. So this RA and RB, they are acting in the upward direction, so they are positive, whereas this 5 kN and 7 kN forces, they are acting in the downward direction, so they are considered as negative. So transfer this minus 5 and minus 7 terms on the other side, they will become positive. So 5 plus 7, that is 12 kN. So let us call this equation as equation number 1. The another condition of equilibrium is summation of moments is equal to zero. We'll consider clockwise moment as positive, whereas anti-clockwise moment as negative. Now we'll take moments about point A. So these arrows they have shown correct how we have calculated the moments. So suppose we start from this RB. So the arrow of this particular RB it will go in the anti-clockwise direction towards A. So it is negative and the perpendicular distance between B and A is 0.5 plus 2 plus 1.5. So the total span length is 4 meter. So it is minus RB into 4. So we know that the moment it is defined as force multiplied by perpendicular distance. So it is minus sign because of the anti-clockwise moment and force is RB that is reaction RB and perpendicular distance between B and A is 4 meter. Then this 7 kN force, the arrow of this 7 kN force will produce the clockwise moment as indicated over here and the distance between D and A is 2 plus 1.5 that is 3.5 so it is 7 multiplied by 3.5. This 5 kN point load it will also produce clockwise moment about point A and the perpendicular distance between C and A is 1.5 meter so it is 5 into 1.5 and that summation is equal to 0. Now transfer this negative term so minus RB into 4 is transferred on the other side so it will become 4 RB and that is positive. This 7 into 3.5 plus 5 into 1.5 we have kept it as it is. So transfer this 4 which is in multiplication over here it will come over here in the division so we can say that 7 into 3.5 plus 5 into 1.5 divided by 4 so if you make the calculation it is 32 divided by 4 that is 8 kN now we can substitute this value of RB in equation 1 so from equation 1 we can say that RA is equal to it is 12 minus RB that is 12 minus 8 and that is nothing but 4 kN so in this way we have calculated the reactions RA and RB. Now we will start with the shear force diagram calculations. The conventions which we have used over here, they are upward forces, they are considered as positive whereas downward forces, they are considered as negative. So we will start with point A. So shear force at point A is nothing but a reaction RA which is acting in the upward direction and as it is acting in the upward direction it is considered as positive. So shear force at A is 4 kN positive. Shear force just at the left of the C. So as there is no other force that is acting between just left of the C. So left of the C means what? We are not considering this particular point load. So 5 kN we are not considering. So A and just left of C there is no other force that is acting on the beam. So we can say that whatever is the shear force that is existing at A the same will be existing or same will exist at point C left. 
now exactly at c there is a point load of 5 kiloton which is acting in the downward direction so it is 4 minus 5 so it is minus 1 kiloton similarly shear force between c and just left of the d will be the same because there is no other force that is acting between c and d left on the beam so it is minus 1 kiloton but suddenly at point d there is a downward acting force of 7 kiloton so it is minus 1 minus 7 that is minus 8 kiloton shear force at b left will be same as that of minus 8 kiloton because between d and just left of b there is no other force that is acting on the beam but exactly at point b there is an upward acting force of 8 kiloton so it is minus 8 plus 8 that is 0 kiloton now using these values we have to draw the shear force diagram so first we'll draw the baseline or a reference line shear force at a it is 4 kiloton it will remain same up to left of the c exactly at c it will decrease to minus 1 kiloton then again it will remain same up to just left of d exactly at d it will increase to minus 8 kiloton will remain same up to left of d and then becomes zero so in this way we can draw the shear force diagram for the given particular arrangement now we have indicated the various values over here so shear force at a is 4 kiloton at c left it is 4 kiloton exactly at c it is minus 1 at d left it is minus 1 exactly at d it is minus 8 kiloton at b left it is minus 8 kiloton and at b it is 0 kiloton now we have to draw the bending moment diagram the conventions which we have used for drawing the bending moment diagram they are clockwise moments they are considered as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative so we know that at the end of points of the simply supported beam that is at a and b the moment is zero so bending moment at a is equal to zero kiloton meter because there is no other force that is acting on the left hand side of the a and even if we consider all the forces on the right hand side the moment will be zero Now the important point we have to find out the bending moment at point c consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of c so on the left hand side of c there is only one force that is ra so the arrow of this particular ra it will go in the clockwise direction towards c so ra is nothing but 4 and the perpendicular distance between a and c is 1.5 so as it is producing clockwise moment it is positive and force is nothing but reaction ra and perpendicular distance between a and c is 1.5 so 4 into 1.5 that is 6 kilonewton meter similarly bending moment at point d we have to consider all the forces acting on the left hand side of d so ra which is acting in the upper direction the arrow of this particular reaction will go in the clockwise direction towards point d so ra multiplied by now the perpendicular distance between a and d is 1.5 plus 2 that is 3.5 so first term is 4 into 3.5 now this 5 kilonewton force it will produce anti-clockwise moment so you can see the arrow of this 5 kilonewton force it is going in the anti-clockwise direction towards d so 5 multiplied by the perpendicular distance between c and d is 2 so it is 4 into 3.5 minus 5 into 2 so that is 4 kilonewton meter now bending moment at point b is zero because there is no other forces which are acting on the right hand side of b or even if we consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of b and make the calculation the value will come to be zero so at the end points of simply supported beam you can directly write down the values as zero kilonewton meter now we have to draw the bending moment diagram by using these particular values so first we'll draw the baseline bending moment at a is 0 at c it is 6 kilonewton meter it decreases to 4 kilonewton meter and then reduces to 0 at end point b so 
in this way we can draw the bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam carrying point loads of 5 kN and 7 kN at a distance of 1.5 meter from the left hand end and 3.5 meter from the left hand support respectively thank you very much for watching